Hey guys, it's that time again. And we have a pretty interesting box this month. Some things I've tried, like this bad boy here, and a couple other things are really super new. So, let's get started. First thing are the Hokkaido Milk Chews. I'm assuming it's very much like a caramel, almost. This little guy here, since it says creamy soft candy, so I'm assuming it's like it would fall. I'm assuming it's it's much like a caramel sort of candy. Why can't I pick this up today? Everything's going wrong already. You stay there. Yes. Caramel, maybe, possibly. Of some kind. No, it's completely not caramel in color. Just a white can eh, it's sort of off-white, I'd say. Not exactly white. Compared to the packaging, sort of off-white. And it is soft. So it's not exactly a taffy kind of soft, though. Hmm. That is very strange. Because it sort of disintegrates pretty quickly. Like one of those soft caramels. Like the, uh, the Werther's caramels or you know, a like brand. However, it's very, very milky, and I would hope so since it's a milk candy, but there's definitely almost a buttery flavor to it. And condensed milk, and that sort of thing. And there's definitely all those things in it. Well, yep, there's butter, condensed milk, cream, skim milk, 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 milk. All the milks in the universe. Hmm. Those are dangerously good. Super dangerously good. However, it does get stuck in your teeth a little bit. But, can't fault that. Next, we have Topo Biscuit Sticks. They look a lot like Pocky, but it says Pretzel Sticks. I don't know, I'm gonna go with Chocolate Filled Pocky, almost. Not quite sure. I love this packaging though. You get two sleeves. And let's see now. And quite simply, a stick full of chocolate. I can't see it too well. Let's see. Yeah, you can see a little better there. It's full of chocolate. Yeah, definitely more of a pretzel than a biscuit. So not exactly like Pocky. Chocolate is similar. Very nice and crunchy. Chocolate's actually very good. I wouldn't necessarily say pretzel either. It doesn't have the same characteristic bite of a pretzel. But it's not quite a biscuit either. It's like the two of them had a baby and then got full of chocolate. It's a very weird sort of sentence, but those are tasty. I'm gonna save those for later. Probably dip them in coffee or something. Because that's how I roll. More barbecue puffs. These look like Cheetos. Except Japanese barbecue flavor. So, hmm. I'm going to assume lots and lots of soy. And of course, I can't open it. Why? Why? Where are my scissors? Where is my anything? Where is... Uh, one moment. I need to jostle the camera while I reach for my scissors. Let's see. Big old Cheeto kind of thing. I want to say I had these before. So I think it was like butter soy sauce or something like that. Not the barbecue flavor. These are nice though. I keep expecting like an American barbecue, and they're really not. A lot more soy. Still very good. 
still really can't identify the flavor. But I'm okay with that. Let's set those there. What is next? Hmm. Morinaga Twig Chocolate. Strange. The green one is milk chocolate and the red is almond. Okay. So, red is almond and this one's milk chocolate. They do look like little twigs. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is about. I don't know if it's like a biscuit covered in chocolate. Or if it's just chocolate chocolate. No, it's just solid chocolate. This looks like it has little crispies in it though. Let's see. No, cornflakes. There's little cornflakes in there. Huh. That's what gives it the little twig type appearance. I'm trying to remember if I've ever had um, Morinaga chocolate before. I don't recall. These are quite nice, though. They're so tiny, though. Could definitely eat a whole lot of those. I'm not going to open the almond one, because, same thing, just a bit of almond. So if these are good, those are also going to be good. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to eat the rest of these right now. While we look at the second thing. Or not second, but whatever the heck we are on now. Let's see. Crystal grape candy. I'm kind of worried that it says minty grape. That kind of worries me. Not usually a flavor combination I would go for. So this is the crystal grape thingy. Hmm. Oh, it's one of these layered things. <laughs> so I'm guessing the in the the interior, the white layer. That's our minty layer, would be my guess. Mostly I'm just smelling grape. Doesn't really smell like much else. Hmm. What's the story with this? Hmm. Can't say I'm tasting much mint. Hmm. Just grape, but kind of a strange grape. I don't know if I'm gonna finish that. Hmm. Strange grape. Put that there. All right. Mm, grapes. Yeah, I don't know. Grapes usually a really good flavor for me, but I guess not tonight. Our good buddy Umaibo. In the corn soup flavor. I've had this one a bunch of times. I kind of want to save it. It tastes like fresh corn, like fresh off the cob type corn, but like in a soup base. It's really weird, but it's really good. If you can find this, if any of the flavors, find this one. This one's really good. I'm just gonna put that down for now, because I'm saving that for later. Sorry this is such a short video, but you know, some of the things I've tried before. Sorry! Alright, our last one is a flaky pie cookie. Now, I've had similar sort of cookies. I think I might have actually had something really similar to this, or a different brand, or something like this. And it's pretty much pie crust. That's, you know, been baked and super flaky and super buttery and really, really yummy. I know it, well, focus, there we go. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, but it's one of those, like, guilty pleasures of just eating pie crust. Mm. And it's super crunchy, too. And it's not super sweet, which is nice. It's just, you know, puff pastry almost. Almost. Mm. But there's the name again since the package is flipped over at the moment. Ta da! But yeah, sorry this was, you know, kind of quick and dirty, this uh, unboxing. But. A lot of it was, you know, bite-sized little snacks, so couldn't do too much reviewing. Yep. Now remember, this was March's box. So, I don't know. I'm all, it, it's almost kind of bad that um, I've tried so many of these things that I don't have anything new and exciting to say. That's not good. Scotch box, you need to send me new and exciting things. Ooh, I just noticed this. News corner. Use this code. Use it. There might be a new one soon. Because it will be April. 
But until then, use this code to get snacks for less monies. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves.